If you felt a little sleepy this week, you're not alone. It hasn't even been a full week of daylight saving time, and if you're like me, you've probably hit the snooze button a few more times than usual. In Washington, there's a chance this could be the last time you have to change your clocks. Two bills to adopt year-round daylight saving time are gaining traction in the legislature. House Bill 1196 and Senate Bill 5139 both have bipartisan support and passed each chamber within the last week. Both are very similar, but let's break down each of them. House Bill 1196 is sponsored by Spokane's Representative Marcus Riccelli. The bill says the federal government allows states to observe daylight saving time year round. Washington plans on making daylight saving time the permanent time of our state. I think as a parent as well, uh, with uh, two young children, uh, it's time to ditch the switch and uh, move to uh, uh, permanent daylight saving, which we are already on eight months of the year. The Senate has a separate bill they're working on too. Senate Bill 5139 is sponsored by Senator Jim Honeyford. The bill also wants to end changing the time on our clocks because of the negative impacts on public health. It's different than the House bill by asking for voter approval in the next general election. Our state would then ask the U.S. Department of Transportation to approve the switch and uh, if they approve, then it goes to Congress. At least 26 other states are considering similar legislation, including all West Coast states, Washington, Oregon, California, and Idaho. Let's just say if either of these bills made it to Governor Jay Inslee's desk for signature, they would still need the green light from Congress. Federal law allows states to opt into standard time permanently, but not daylight saving time without congressional approval. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio and Representative Vern Buchanan, both of Florida, introduced legislation to make daylight saving time permanent nationwide. So what's next? Now that both bills pass the House and the Senate, they will go to the opposing chambers for review. Both bill sponsors tell me it's unlikely Governor Jay Inslee will have two daylight saving bills to consider, and they hope to agree on one by the end of the session, which ends on April 28th. In the studio, I'm Tim Pham, Krem 2 News.